OK, joined by Brian Sheehy, Chemical Croaks defender here at Parnell Park ahead of this weekend's go-ahead Dublin Senior 1 hurling final. Chemical Croaks versus Nafina Sunday afternoon at half past two in the Senior 1 final. Uh, Brian, first of all, looking back at the semi-final win over Ballyboden St. Enders a couple of weeks back, uh, a good win for yourselves against a very strong Ballyboden St. Enders team, I guess sets you up nicely for the final to come this weekend. Absolutely, yeah. We knew Bowden were always going to bring a massive physical battle and they had so much experience there. I think we just matched them well and it was a great win in the end so we're really looking forward to the final now. Yeah, this season has gone pretty well for yourselves so far. You're unbeaten in the competition. The only team obviously still left unbeaten in the championship this year. You've been pre playing pretty well uh, throughout this championship campaign. Yeah, we're happy enough with how it's, start, how it's, it's kind of coming up now. It's just, we didn't start well. We had a couple of we scraped by Luke and scraped by Bridget's. I think the last couple of weeks we've kind of got our momentum going again and we haven't lost in Dublin championship since 2020 so it's definitely take confidence from that going into next Sunday yeah and obviously uh, you're going for two in a row this year but I guess this year in a lot of ways you're going for back-to-back -back titles but it's a very different team this year compared to last year well very different maybe uh, over over saying that but in terms of you've got a lot of uh, new players younger players in the panel this year compared to last year so it is kind of a different uh, team compared to last year you're not, it's the same club but obviously not maybe the same team going back to back yeah I saw some mad stat there that seven of our starting finalists last year are gone now we lost a couple of lads immigration few retirements um, so it's really good to get the new blood in this year like great to see some lads from the second team like Keen Ryan and Michael Roach coming up making really stepping up and like clearly starting you now name, first name the T-sheets those lads these days and then we have a couple of minor lads coming through young Brian Hayes other lads so the young blood that like, keeps coming through and it's Credit to the management, been able to integrate all of them and keep us going this year. Yeah, and I guess I mean going for back-to-back -back titles can be difficult at times, but that fresh blood, I'm sure, helps in terms of pushing everybody on the team to to keep going and to keep pushing on to tr try and win games. Absolutely, like you don't want the thing to become stale at any stage. So this new blood, you know, get new new personalities, new faces into the team, keeps everyone going, keeps a bit of freshness in the team. And um, yeah, no, just really looking forward to next again now. Yeah, and in, in on that as well, uh, it is a young, a pretty young team as well. So this is a team, obviously, your, your, your full focus is on, uh, is on the Fina this weekend. But this is a team that can, could be around for a few years to come as well. Yeah, yeah, and it's credit to the management. They've, they've trusted the youth. You know, as other clubs might stick with their experience to the guard, but now to be fair to Dinny and Teddy, they've entrusted in the lads who played, you know, underage at Dublin, and I think that's really come to fruition now. And I think Nafina are the same; they've a very young team as well, so sets up for an epic battle, I'm sure. Yeah, and finally, that Nafina game is it's this weekend. It's Nafina versus Chemical Croaks, two teams who know each other very, very well. Last year's final, and and they've played each other so many times over the past few years as well in Championship and in League. What can you expect from Nafina this weekend? I expect a huge, huge game. Like they'll be they'll be gunning for us after what happened last year. Uh, we'll be trying to show that it wasn't a fluke last year. That you know we did deserve it, and we'll be going to try and win it again this year. Um, very tactical battle, I'm sure. We both both management team very capable tactically. So it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. Now. Yeah, really, really looking forward to it. Yeah, and finally, just a word on support as well. Uh, Parnell Park is empty at the moment, but you're hoping up. We're all hoping for a, a full Parnell Park this weekend uh, for the game. Uh, how big a support and how big will that help you if you have a big uh, Chemical Croak support here on uh, Sunday? Massive, massive. Especially like the last 10 minutes last year coming down the home stretch to make that comeback. We wouldn't have done it without the fans and the stand. I think the last couple of years, the club has put a bit, big emphasis on you know, integrating the younger members with the adult teams and it's showing there with the support we're getting now, it's just fantastic.